Hello, I'm Dr. Sean Phillips. I'm the Director of Faculty Development here at Piedmont. I'm going to be your resource in helping you to sort of settle in and know what's going on, but also in a maintenance sort of way, just to come along beside you and behind you to help you to offer excellent classes. This will be the first introductory video on just getting involved in the information systems for uh, Piedmont. So I'm going to give you some information about how to log into what we call our single sign-on. We use Okta, O-K-T-A, um, which is widely used in different organizations. And it'll help you to sign into pretty much everything that you need to sign into. So I'm going to do a screencast now and just let you take a look at my screen as we get involved in. All right, so what you're seeing down. here is my desktop. I happen to be using a Macintosh. That won't make any difference for you that are using PC or Windows-based computers. Um, really, we're going to do most of the work that we're going to do, and, uh, and it's going to be fairly simple for you. Just follow along here. Uh, we're going to go and find a web browser. Um, you may have Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox. We found that Firefox really works the best with both Blackboard, which is our online uh, educational software, as well as Blackbaud, which is uh, a completely different company, completely different name. But we, uh, I typically recommend folks use Firefox because it will um, work best with the program. So uh, I've got Piedmont's homepage set up here. Um, as I move along further, I'll show you some shortcuts that'll help you. The way that you get to the software is to scroll all the way to the bottom. We're on Piedmontu.edu, which is the homepage for Piedmont. That's piedmontu.edu. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of that page, <clears throat> then you will see my PIU. That's the link that gets you into what we call single sign-on. And when I click that, it's going to bring me to piedmontu.octa.com. Okta is a single sign-on service that allows us to put our password in here. And you should have all of this information from Rick Snyder. If you don't have that information, his name, his email address is snyder at piedmontu.edu. That's Snyder R at Piedmontu.edu. And what this is going to do is it's going to log me into the Okta system. Now I have it set up to open all the tabs. We're not going to worry about that. Yours should open just in one tab. And it should look something similar to this, but I'm sure you'll have more icons. I've divided my icons into two different tabs, and I, na I basically named this one Z because I wanted that one to show up last if I add other tabs there. In here, you'll see there's there's a lot. There is um, our Google Apps Calendar. We've got JSTOR, um, the Galaxy software. We've got uh, Trend is in here. EBSCO is in here. You've got access to uh, Microsoft Office 365, which is um, a free subscription through Piedmont. This is our policies and procedures for the university. Piedmont.net is a login. There's a health reference center. There's a, the library search is in here. So there's a lot of things that are in there. We're going to focus on, if you'll just find these two in your email, uh, you're going to find Google Apps Mail. That's what we're going to talk about in this particular video. But you'll also notice that I have my personal email in here, and I have my faculty portal here and Blackboard. Those are the important ones. Google Drive is also important. We use that quite a bit as a as a university, but we're not going to get into Google Drive right now. We're not going to get into Blackboard, and we're not really even going to talk too much about the faculty portal. Right now, we want to make sure that we open up the lines of communication as wide as possible between you and the administration, your deans, uh, those of you who are advisors to get good communication between you and the registrar, those sorts of things. So, you should already have your login information for your Piedmont email. When I click on the Google Mail app, it takes me to Google's website because all of Piedmont's email is run by Google. And uh, I'm not too concerned with you. I'll see in my emails here. This is all completely configurable, and we're not really going to go into that too much. If you have questions about setting up your, your Google email and how you get a certain look to that email, that's, uh, that's something that you can call specifically about, and, and we can help to talk you through. But that's how you get to this place. Uh, that's how you get here. Now, one of the things I would recommend is back on this Okta page, I have, uh, there's two things that you can do. One is you can drag this address or you can create a shortcut out of this address. There's going to be different ways that you do that. Um, I think for Firefox, you can just drag that guy down and it creates a, um, a bookmark in your, uh, it creates an icon in your bookmark toolbar. 
Now, if you don't see a toolbar like this, and mine probably looks a little different because I don't like, I don't like things too cluttery. So I have um, in my view under toolbars, that's what you want to select is the bookmarks toolbar. And then once you bookmark that, uh, then you, you close everything out. And while you're in your browser, you can just click on that and it'll bring you back to that, <clears throat> that single sign-on. And when we say single sign-on, we're basically saying that when I click on Gmail, I don't have to log into Gmail and then go and log into Faculty Portal. For instance, when I click on the Faculty Portal now, it's going to redirect to the Faculty Portal. You see all my sign-on already logged in there. Um, all of my information is already insult and then it goes directly to my gradebook uh, and registration, attendance, all those things. We'll, we'll, we'll do a completely different video about the Faculty Portal to help get you acclimated with that. And quite frankly, it'll be a little bit longer one, um, but it, it really is very, very intuitive. But I wanted you to see how it looks when you sign into Okta, that my PIU, that's what that's called. That's what we, we have it labeled as at the bottom of the website here, my PIU. <clears throat> and then it also allows you to log into all of these different things and you can add whatever you like to it. Uh, I, won't, I won't go into that right now, but you can add different applications to it up here in the right-hand corner. You can add my Twitter account is here. Um, you have, we have Google Drive, which we use specifically for in-house documents that we can edit and share at the same time. So under your under your tab here is where you're gonna we're gonna concentrate, and we'd like you to start using this Google Apps Mail, especially if you're a faculty member or if you're coming on on staff. We'd like you to start checking that right away and get yourself used to using your, your email this way. I'll be the first one to say that it was a tough transition for me, not at all because the software is difficult, not at all because there was a learning curve, but because I think most of us are a creature of habit and we're used to using our own, our own email clients, so those of you who use Outlook or however it is that you check your email. I'll say though that after I've made some changes like putting a shortcut here, uh, it helps a lot for me um, to quickly and easily access those emails, and they are available offline. So um, if you if you don't get to the uh, if you don't get them right away, you can still get to them. The other thing I would say is that inside of Firefox, which is what we're using, there is also a plugin. If you're familiar with using plugins um, or add-ons, you can go to add-ons and you can search for OKTA Okta. And uh, you can see that there is an Okta Secure Web Authentic plugin, and that's what I use. That's what I usually run. I, I don't use um, the uh, the bookmark icon as much as I as I used to. Now I use it over here on the side. And so if you if you plug in this um, if you use this plugin, excuse me, this is going to make it even easier for you because you can just click that. And once you are logged in, all of your different um, functions are already here in the tab. It's it's just a built-in part of Firefox now, and um, and so I'm working with particular programs under this folder, and then I switch to this folder to see all of the rest of them. Where for you, it's going to be all in one folder for now. Another way that people use this is they might make a, a Piedmont folder and a personal folder, and so you might put your personal Gmail, your personal Twitter, or Facebook, or whatever it is that you'd like to have to log into any professional societies that you belong to or something like that um, in the personal folder and it just logs into everything for you nice and neat. The one thing I'll say is you may you may throughout the day come across um, maybe every couple hours you'll have to log back into Okta. Uh, you'll have to put in your login information again in order to get into those things but once you do that then you're you're across the board in everything that you need. So we would recommend that you go ahead and start using your email address. And one of the very helpful things will be if you log into those and begin replying to us using your Piedmont email address as opposed to the TTU or any other email address that you might have. Um, that's just going to, on our end, show us that you are set up and ready to go. And, um, and feel free, if you'd like to, to email me and let me know that you're good to go or that you have any questions um, and then I'll just keep a checklist and if I don't hear from you, I may give you a call and just say how our things are going for your, um, for your transfer and those sorts of things. Listen, we understand that uh, there is, there's a learning curve for a lot of different things when you start something new and uh, I really personally just want to be as much help to you as I can in getting these technological um, speed bumps moved through. 
but also as you begin to you know um, see different areas of teaching and so I want to be an encouragement to you pedagogically as well to help you to uh, to bring your content to life or to bring new life whatever it is that we need to do um, I'd be glad to be of help to you so that's going to complete this particular tutorial and uh, please be on the lookout for other ones. Okay, so hopefully that helps you to have a better idea of how to log into email and some of those other things. Be looking for another email. We'll give you some information about getting into the grade book, getting set up for um, the student portal so that you're able to do advising. So I look forward to being a resource to you. If you need to get in touch with me after you watch these videos, my email address is phillipss, that's phillipss, at piedmontu.edu. Look forward to talking to you.